All ecosystems have animals. Grasslands have grazing animals naturally. Grazing animals include cattle, sheep, goats, and many other kinds of animals. But there are some people today that think that animals are a burden to the land, but animals are a benefit to the land. Properly managed grazing animals are a boon to a grassland and bring life to a farm or ranch. That includes wildlife. Storing carbon, storing water. Don't we need to store carbon today? Don't we need to store water? We need to store carbon because of all the hoopla about climate change, and we need to store water because of all the hoopla about drought. But we don't normally hear solutions. We just hear the problems. Anyway, cleaning water, growing the plants, and kickstarting the ecosystem, which then acquire bees, butterflies, birds, dung beetles, earthworms, and mammalian wildlife. So our ecosystems could acquire these things with the benefit, with the help of grazing animals. By contrast, vast monocultures of crops, GMO or otherwise, yield none of these benefits. There are vast square mileage in the American continent with monocrops, corn, soy, and wheat. Vast, you know, regions that are dominated by these crops. They're monocultures. A monoculture is a food desert for animals. A monoculture is monolithic or uniform, whereas nature is diverse. Whenever you have an area that has to be uniform and monolithic, it's going to crowd out nature. That's why you have to have pesticides, that, the perceived need for pesticides. That's why you have to have fertilizers, chemical fertilizers, because you're not allowing the diversity of nature to get in there and help grow your crops, help grow resilient plants, etc. So what is animal agriculture anyway? It's not the cow, it's the how.